respected elders, educationists, language scholars, dear teachers and students, welcome. First of all, it is my kind request that those who come in subscribe our channel so far may kindly subscribe it. Dear students, in the last class, <coughs> we saw the sentence of pattern in English. Today we are going to see the personal perfect tense used in English. After the 12 tenses used in English, we have already seen two tenses, that is the simple person and the person continuous. Today we are going to see the person perfect. Dear students, in English, it is the verb which decides, it is the verb which decides what kind of tense it is. There are 12 tenses. Out of the 12 tenses, only two tenses, a simple person and a single past. Only these two tenses are having only one verb. The remaining ten tenses are having from two to five and from two to four verbs. So it is the verb which it decides what kind of tense it is. Say if there is only one verb, that should be the final verb. If there are more than one verb, there will be, there will be only one verb finite and the remaining verbs will be or would be auxiliaries. So two kinds of verbs are used in, in the tenses. One is the final verb, must, and the remaining verbs are auxiliaries. Say, so what are the auxiliaries and final verbs? We will say in the following class. Today we are saying, today we are going, how many verbs are used in the person perfect tense? Well, let us see. English grammar, a person perfect tense, framing of sentences, video number 72. The person perfect, you see, pattern of verbs in the person perfect. are used in the person perfect tense. How many verbs are used? Two verbs are used in the person perfect tense. I have already told you when there are more than one verb, there are one, more than one verbs, one should be the finite verb and the remaining would be the auxiliary verbs. Here two verbs are used. The first two verb is the auxiliary is have or has. The second is the past participle of the final verb. Two verbs are used in, in, in the person perfect. The first verb is the auxiliary verb, have or has. And the second verb is the past participle of the final verb. You see, have or has, the final verbs. And the second verb is the Past participle of the final verb. See, have or has plus past participle. Sentence pattern C. I say, have is the auxiliary verbs for the first person plural, first person and second person singular and plural, and third person plural they. Have is used as the auxiliary verb for the five 
subjects i we you you they and has as the auxiliary verb is used for the third person singular he she that's all so i we you they have worked worked is the past participle of the verb i mean past a past participle of the verb work he yeah. she it has worked that's all see now dear students and teachers we have to we, we have to see we have to bear in mind what is a person perfect tense the person perfect tense is a mixture of the past and the present this fact we should bear in mind this factor should be born in the mind that is actually the action happened occurred took place in the past the action took place in the past happened in the past that is yesterday or last week etc but now at the time of speaking we are having we are making a connection with the time of speaking the action happened in the past but we have was you are taking it to the time of speaking we are we are we are making a bond with the time of speaking the action happened in the past is made to the we are connection with the time of speaking so the person perfect tells is a mixture of the past and the person only we understand this fact we could rightly use these terms okay now let us see some examples of it you see affirmative that is positive in sentence i i mean subjects i to kishi they first first person i Have worked. Have actually worked. First of all, I have worked. That is, I did the work yesterday, but now I am actually I am I am speaking. I have worked. We did the work. We completed the work last week, but now we say we have we have worked. But actually, we would we we did it. sentence here yeah but now at the time of speaking we say we have finished we have worked we have finished or we have worked similarly you have worked you have worked they have worked actually it happened in the, the action happened in the past but we are talking talking of that work talking of that action at the time of speaking in the third person singular he has worked she has worked it has worked positive affirmative negative i have not worked that is i did not work yesterday they did not work <coughs> last week now you are telling i did not work yesterday now at the time of speaking i say i have not worked because i did not work yesterday no i say i have not worked. they did not work yesterday now they say we have not worked he did not work yesterday he uh, he says i have i a book he says he he has not worked i say he has not worked she did not work yesterday i say she has not worked so okay look at action happened in the post we are talking about that action now at the time of speaking interrogative question i worked yesterday now i uh, 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 the question is if it is a simple past then the question would be did i work yesterday did i work yesterday but it is person perfect so i have to ask the question how i worked how i worked 
have we worked? Have you worked? I don't know whether you did your work study or not. So I have you worked? But the, at the point of time should not be pointed out to here. Have they worked? Similarly, that person is singular. Has he worked? I don't know whether he did his work or not yesterday. Now I am putting the question. Has he worked? Has she worked? Yes. That's all. In the negative, negative, indirect, that doesn't matter. Have they not worked? Similarly, see all these eight persons. Have they not worked? Similarly, has he not worked? Has she, has she not worked? So these four types of sentences in, in, in English, the statements, there are these four, you know, statements in four sides. One is affirmative, one is negative, one is interrogative, one is another negative interrogatives. A statement, interrogative. So, okay, let us see some more examples. The pattern. And dear students, again and again, I am reminding you how a thorough knowledge, a thorough knowledge of the sentence pattern, very, very important. Without knowing the subjects, verb, objects, mainly the subject and objects. And the complement and object. You can't talk English. You, can, uh, you can't either talk or write English. So to speak and to, to, to speak or write English, you must know the sentence patterns. The first example is, I have seen. That is, I saw yesterday. Now I am saying, I have seen. We, we saw yesterday. Now we are telling, we have seen. You saw yesterday, now you are telling, now, now I am telling, you have seen. They saw yesterday, now I am telling, they have seen. Without telling, here we should not, we should not use the time yesterday. Similarly, he has seen, she has seen, it has seen. Then, second button, SVO. I have seen. What have I seen? I have seen elephant. Yesterday, yesterday I saw an elephant. Yesterday I saw an elephant. Now I am telling, I have seen an elephant. Yesterday I saw an elephant. Now I am telling, I have seen an elephant. Yesterday we saw an elephant. Now we are telling, we have seen elephant. We have seen lion. You, you, you saw me yesterday. You saw, you saw me yesterday. Now I tell you, you saw, you have seen me. You saw me yesterday. Now I am telling you, you have seen me. Uh, plural. You have seen me. Here you should not use the time by time. Point of time yesterday. See, you have seen me. They have seen my brother. See, see more, 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 more and so me yesterday. So now, now, uh, now at the time of speaking, I say, Moran has seen me. Mola saw me yesterday. Now I am telling you, Mola has seen me. It saw me yesterday. Now I am telling, it is the same me. Okay? Then other. Yes, we see. The subject of the compliment. I have, I have been fine. That is, I have been fine. That is, I was fine. In the past. I was fine in the past, yesterday, last week, etc. I am not telling, I am fine now. I am not telling, I am fine now. I am fine now means, now at the time of speaking, I am fine. 
but i have been fine it means in the in the past i was fine i am not talking about my being at the time of speaking i am talking my being in the past how how i was in the previous days or in the previous months or in the previous year how i was then i was fine then i was fine so now i am telling i have been fine i have been fine without mentioning the time oh, all this all other say for this eight subjects that's all we have been fine you have been fine you have been fine they have been fine he has been fine she has been fine it has been fine it all this they were they were okay she was they were okay in the previous days we but we don't know how they are now at the time of speaking they were fine some days before some weeks before some months before etc then the fourth model as we apat the mis subject verb and adverb of place in the adverb of time i have stayed here for one year for one year i have stayed here for example from the uh, from january 22 to uh, december 22 for one year i have stayed here for one year i have stayed here for one year since january 22 and so you can say like that not now we are not talking according to this place we are not talking about that you are not talking at the time of i have been i have stayed here for one year in the past in the past i have stayed here i have stayed here for one year in the past similarly for all these eight persons we have stayed here you have stayed here is a etc ki she can sit stay here for good okay as we of a subject verb object and adverb the adjunct i have kept him many times it is it, 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 it is not meaning that i am helping and helping him now it doesn't mean that i am helping him now i have helped him once many times in the in the past i have helped him many times so many times i have helped him i i have helped him many times in the past so many times i have helped him in the past so now i am telling at the time of speaking i tell i have helped him many times similarly for the a subjects they help we helped him many times in the uh, last year uh, last month now now we are telling we have helped him many times similarly see you have helped they have helped uh, murugan helped mohan many times in the past murugan helped mohan many times in the past now we say murugan has helped many times murugan has helped mohan many times murugan has helped mohan many times for so the action happened in the past but we are connecting it with the, at the time of, we are connecting the action happened in the past with the time of speaking that is that is the function of <coughs> person perfect <coughs> similarly she has helped him it is okay dear students the function of the person perfect is very very important 
you must uh, you must know it thoroughly well not simply well thoroughly well you ought to have know you should know the person the meaning of the person perfect so the person perfect is a mix of the past and the present that is what happened in the past is made a connection at the time of speaking what happened what occurred what took place in the past is connected with the time of speaking in tamil for the uh, uh, three person first person second person and third person we we uses the we we uses the verb crane chrome cry crane chrome cry crawl crawl crawl